After months of focusing almost exclusively on domestic issues, President Barack Obama shifts briefly to foreign policy this week. Obama arrived in New York Monday evening, ready for two days of meetings at the United Nations. The White House has been hoping to use the gathering of the U.N. General Assembly to highlight the international community's role in Libya. A U.N. resolution allowing for military action there is credited with helping rebel forces dismantle Muammar Gaddafi's regime. But success in Libya seems destined to be overshadowed this week by a looming diplomatic clash over Palestinian statehood. The Palestinians say they'll ask the U.N. Security Council to recognize them as full members. But the U.S. has pledged to veto that bid. We have taken the position we've taken because we do not believe it is ultimately in the interests of Middle East peace, of the process. It doesn't bring the two sides closer together. It, doesn't bring the, it would not bring the Palestinians any closer to statehood and we believe it would be counterproductive. The U.S. is anxiously searching for ways to stop Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas from asking for the statehood resolution when he speaks at the U.N. later this week. While a U.N. vote would do nothing to change the situation on the ground for Palestinians, many in the territories believe it would carry important symbolic significance. If we do uh, get uh, recognition at the U.N., for at whatever level, it means it will also help in the process of reconciliation because it would send a message also to all Palestinians that the issue is one of justice and legality and not one of power politics or uh, exclusive American control. The statehood resolution puts the Obama administration in the awkward position of having to oppose the measure even though it supports its goals. It risks the U.S. appearing to put its relationship with Israel above all other allies and it could taint U.S. standing in the Arab world. What it will certainly do is deepen any anti-Americanism, any unpopularity of the U.S. in the Middle East. It, it will confirm for many people that even after the Arab Spring, even after this extraordinary turmoil in the Middle East, at the bottom, at the bottom line is that the U.S. will always stand with Israel, come what may. For Obama, there are also domestic political concerns involved with the Palestinian statehood bid. The president is still facing questions from some Jewish voters who believe he's anti-Israel. And he's facing pressure from congressional lawmakers who want to cut off funding for the Palestinians if they proceed with their U.N. resolution. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The United Nations.